Hey, what's happening guys? We are going to do another short, quick video today for our short, quick, getting ready for Christmas week video week. And today what we're going to do is we're going to create a totalizer. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what a totalizer is, you will find them on a lot of higher end frequency counters. Your frequency counters generally will count frequency, they'll count period, and they'll also do what's called a totalization, which is simply, it counts the number of pulses in a given time frame. It totals them up. Pretty simple, right? So for our project today, we are using um, an Arduino Uno, the OLED screen, um, one resistor, and the button. Then we have a little uh, header strip down here. And I'll show you that in a minute. So our OLED hooks up. VCC goes to 5 volts. Ground goes to ground. SCL goes to digital, or I'm sorry, analog 5. SDA goes to analog 4. 5 volts powers our rail. We also have ground. And then pin 8 comes over here to the input side of our uh, pulse in. And then we have a 15K resistor jumping across here to ground. And this goes to ground. This is simply a pull down resistor uh, to keep it low so nothing is floating. Now, in order to test this, we're going to use a frequency counter, or I'm sorry, frequency generator. You've seen this in some of my videos. This is the FieldTech uh, FY2300. We're going to be doing a uh, square wave. The range on this is kind of low. It's between about five and 300 hertz. Um, I could, you could modify it. You can make it a little bit faster, but this is good just to give you an idea. So let's go look at the code. All right, here is the code for the Arduino totalizer. And note the range here is in the range of five to 300 hertz. If you go higher than that, it, you know, the, the Arduino is just not going to be able to keep up. So we have uh, two includes. The first one is wire, which is our I squared C driver. The second one is the Adafruit SSD 1306, which is the particular driver for the OLED we're using. Then we have this defined for OLED reset, even though it's not hooked up. You'll see down here where we create an instance of Adafruit SSD 1306 called display. It does require that argument OLED reset. I mean, you could just put the number four in there, but yeah, that's just how it goes. We're going to declare two variables, one of a long type called count and one of an integer type called flag. Then in our setup, we will start the display using this command here. Um, we're using that Adafruit SSD 1306 library, which is looking for the OLED on um, hex address OX3D. So if you didn't buy your um, your OLED from Adafruit and you have one of the uh, the Chinese versions, generally you're going to find it at OX3C. So if you have a problem with your OLED not working, try uh, putting this argument here at the end of your initialization statement and you might find it works. These are just initializing the display. Then we set our pin mode. This is where our pulse comes in for input and a pin mode on our switch for input with a pull up to hold it high. Then in our loop, the first thing we do is we check to see if the button has been pressed. So we create an integer variable called stop now and we do a digital read of pin 12. So if the switch was pressed, then we say if stop now equals zero, flag equals one. So what we're doing is we're setting our flag that checks down here, you'll see in a second. And then we're going to check uh, the digital read of pin eight to see if the pulse came in. And if a pulse came in, so if check equals one and the flag is not set, if flag equals zero, then we increment the count by one. If either one of those two conditions aren't met, nothing happens to count. Then we come down here, <clears throat> we clear the display, we set our text size, uh, we set our text color, we put the cursor where we want it, and we do a display print line of count, which is our incrementing counter here, and display display. That's it. There's nothing else to it. Okay, you've seen the code, it has been uploaded. So let's power up the Arduino. 
and now she's ready to start counting. So let's hook up our frequency uh, generator, function generator here, and watch it start counting. And when we want it to stop, you press the blue button. You want to reset it, you press the Arduino's reset button, and she resets. It's as simple as that. But that's a totalizer. That's a device you'll find in a lot of electronic labs. Like I said, it's in most higher end frequency counters. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you for watching and commenting. That's it. I'm out. Peace.